Cultured stone can be fitted to lightweight substrates such as timber or steel frame. For this example, we'll use a timber frame. Set 90 by 45 mm studs at 450 mm centers. Use noggins as applicable. Fix weather resistant barrier to the timber frame. Note, installation of the water resistant barrier should follow instructions provided by specific product manufacturer and local building codes. Depending on local building code requirements, the barrier shall also meet the requirements of AS4200-1 pliable building membranes and underlays for materials and installation. Fix a minimum thickness of 6mm fibre cement sheet to the manufacturer's specifications. Note, fibre cement sheet manufacturers do not warrant gluing directly onto the fibre cement sheet. When installing the fibre cement sheet, all sheets should be fitted horizontally, not vertically. Stagger vertical joins so they are not continuous. Ensure all joins in the fibre cement sheet are over studs or noggins. No joins should be made above the corners of windows or doors. This wall has the fibre cement sheet fitted correctly. Notice there are no joins above the window or door corners and the vertical joints are not continuous. Prime all fibre cement sheet surfaces with the recommended cultured stone primer mix. The primer is easiest applied using a common household nylon broom or paint roller. If it is a hot day, wet the fibre cement sheet prior to application of the primer mix. Once the fibre cement sheet has been installed and primed, the expanded metal mesh is then attached. When installing expanded metal mesh, be sure the grooved cups of the mesh are turned upward. This is easy to determine by running a hand over the surface. The texture should feel rough when running your hand downwards. These cups will prevent the mortar from sagging when applied to the vertical wall surface. The mesh is attached using 40mm galvanised nails or screws that penetrate the studs at least 25mm. The nails or screws should be spaced at 150mm centres vertically into the framing. The expanded metal mesh must overlap 50mm at vertical joints and 25mm at horizontal joints and wrap a minimum of 400mm around corners to a framing member or stud. If using a scratch coat, apply it to the metal mesh by trowel, using enough force to key the mortar into the openings. The scratch coat should be about 12 to 18 millimetres thick. When the mortar begins to firm up, cross scratch the surface using a stucco scratch coat rake. Curing time for the scratch coat will vary depending on weather conditions. Cultured stone can be fitted to new or existing brickwork or blockwork. In this example, we will use a brick wall. Examine the brickwork to ensure the wall is free of any dust, loose aggregate, grease, paint or anything else that may affect the adhesion of the stone. The brick surface should be dry and of a stable structure. Note, if you have any pre-existing painted brickwork, you have two options. Option 1. Sandblast to remove all traces of paint prior to proceeding with the cultured stone installation. Option 2. Mechanically fix expanded metal mesh to the painted wall. Refer to the written installation instructions for more detail. Prime all surfaces with the recommended cultured stone primer mix. The primer is easiest applied using a common household nylon broom or paint roller. If it is a hot day, wet the wall lightly prior to application of the primer mix.